Hello everyone, it's Joe from OnePageZen.com and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress website on Google Cloud Platform. Now the first thing we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to head on over to our instance. So go to Compute Engine, then VM Instances, and we're going to click the Snapshots tab in the uh, left hand side of the screen and notice here that I already have four snapshots already configured for my WordPress website. It's likely that you don't have any yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new snapshot. I'm going to click that button and I'm going to name it Snapshot 5 just so I keep things in an orderly fashion. And the source disk is uh, the disk that's running my WordPress instance. And for encryption, I'm going to choose automatic. And then I'm going to click Create. Now that our snapshot has finished, uh, you'll see here that uh, under snapshot size, the first snapshot is going to be the biggest. So this snapshot contains all of the information on your disk. And then each snapshot after that uh, includes only the new content that was added since the initial content, uh, since the initial snapshot uh, was taken. So uh, let's say our WordPress website breaks and we need to uh, restore our site by using one of these snapshots. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the hamburger menu and then to our VM instances and we are going to uh, click create instance all right and I'm gonna do a uh, micro machine um, and then here where it says boot disk I'm gonna change that and I'm going to go, normally it defaults to uh, OS images. I'm going to go to snapshots here. And I'm going to uh, choose my latest snapshot as my boot disk. And I'm going to use the uh, standard persistent disk here of 10 gigabytes. Select that. And I'm going to um, choose allow full access to all cloud APIs for my access scopes. Now this is only a good idea if you are uh, running just a small uh, personal website on Google Cloud. Uh, you definitely wouldn't want to select this option if you're uh, running a cloud um, at the enterprise level. And then here in firewall we're going to enable both of these and we're going to click uh, create. So here's our initial instance uh, right here. And this right here, what um, the instance that's being created is our WordPress backup. It's taking the information from the disk snapshot and is making a uh, exact copy of our original uh, WordPress installation. All right, now that our uh, new instance has been created, uh, we can click the external IP here and we can just test to make sure it's working. And here you can see we have a uh, backup or a, our restored WordPress website here. Now you will likely have to do some uh, configuring with the um, new IP and your uh, cloud DNS, but I'll leave that to you. Um, there's information about how to do that in some of my other tutorials. Uh, another thing too is that if you're working on more uh, complicated uh, websites on the Google Cloud Platform, uh, there are some steps that you should take uh, before uh, making a disk snapshot. But since this is just for a very basic, uh, simple website without a lot of traffic, uh, I just went right ahead and took the disk snapshot. And that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please comment in the box below. 
uh, and please subscribe to this channel for future WordPress on Google Cloud tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.